Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. The head of the Supreme Council of Antiquities in Egypt, Mustafa Wazari, declared that the preliminary studies determined the gender and age of the skeletons found inside the Alexandria sarcophagus, after examining the anatomy of the skulls, pelvis and longitudinal bones. The preliminary studies were carried out by the research team, headed up by the director of the Skeleton Remains Studies Department at the Ministry of Antiquities, Zainab Hashish. Waziri added that the team also found gold sheets within the bones of the skeletons, which are now subject to further study. The head of the Central Department of Antiquities of Lower Egypt, Nadia Kida, recounted that the first skeleton belonged to a woman aged 20 to 25 with a height of around 160 to 164 centimetres. The second skeleton belonged to a man aged 35 to 39 years old with a height ranging between 160 and 165.5 centimetres while the third skeleton is for a man aged 40 to 44 years, and with a height ranging between 179 and 184.5 centimetres. She pointed out that the studies on the right bone, located at the back area of the skull, shows a round cavity of 17 centimetres wide, which reveals that the owner of this skull survived a long period with this cavity. This means that the cavity is a result of surgery. This surgery is the oldest surgical intervention known in the prehistoric era. It was rare in Egypt, said Hashish, adding that few schools with this surgery had ever been discovered. Head of the Ancient Egyptian Antiquities Sector, Ayman Ashmawi, said that the researchers cleaned all of the remains found inside the sarcophagus and archaeologically documented all of the bones and the schools as well as the gold sheets. He pointed out that the strange colour of the water found inside the sarcophagus came from mixing the sewage water with the remains of the skeleton's wrappings, which were decomposed by the sewage water. Ashmawi said that several analyses are carried out on the water to uncover more about its components. Waziri asserted that more research, DNA tests and CT scans are to be carried out on the skeletons, to learn more about them and to find out if the three individuals were related. If you are new to this story, I'll give you a recap. On July the 1st, 2018, Egypt unearthed a 2,000 year old sarcophagus in Alexandria, revealing that it was made of black granite of about 265cm in length and about 185cm in height. The 30 ton sarcophagus was found at a depth of 5 metres beneath the surface of the land. 18 days later, Egypt opened the mysterious sarcophagus as many talked about the possibility of unleashing a curse that could be cast on the world. This, of course, is nonsense, but as we know, three decomposed mummies were found in the sarcophagus. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Waziri, stressed that none of the three mummies belonged to the Ptolemaic or Roman royal family, and the coffin does not have inscriptions or a cartouche bearing their names. He further pointed out that there was no evidence for a silver or gold metallic mask, statues, amulets or inscriptions. None were found that could prove that the mummies were part of a royal family. Also, he denied the rumours spread by some international newspapers that opening the sarcophagus would unleash a curse that would bring disaster to the world. So, that's the latest official information on the Alexandria sarcophagus. The evidence of surgery on the skull is certainly a huge talking point, and the origins of the gold within the bones is certainly intriguing. When more on this news story breaks, I'll be sure to let you know, but I'll be really interested to hear your thoughts, so please comment below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.